Hi, it's Corrine, and I'm here with another Smashbook page. I'm working out of the Wildwood book from Craftin' and Stampin'. It's Close to My Heart's My Crush series, and I got this from Jessica Wilson, so I will, will put links to her store in the description box below. And here I'm showing you a page that I printed out. It's from The Good Life, and it's a very soft page. I'm using a photo that I printed out in a 4x6 of my nieces, so I wanted just a very girly soft page and being that this page or this paper is so soft I wanted to add a little bit of a border around the edges so I just used my smashbook pen to do so and here I'm using some crepe paper or party streamer paper and I got that from the party store you can get it at Walmart or even your grocery store and I'm using some double-sided tape and simply pleating the crepe paper along the border of that tape and I'm just doing it quickly. I'm not trying to be perfect with it. And now I didn't plan it out ahead of time on how I was going to do it. So here I'm trying to decide if I want the next layer above that one or below it. I end up going below it. So I just bent up that first layer and then add my adhesive underneath and then add the second layer right underneath it. And I start giving it a little bit of a pleat before I start laying it down just to help it go a little bit smoother. I just wanted this to be a kind of a girly page. That's what made me think to use the party streamer. So I'm adding a third layer, doing the exact same thing. And right there you see me use my glue gun. It was a piece that wasn't laying down the way I wanted it to, so I just added a little bit of hot glue and, and placed it down. So now, exact same thing, I'm going to add a fourth layer. I wanted it to go almost to the edge of the page. Again, I give it a little pleat before I start it, just to help it go a little bit smoother for me. And I was really happy with how quick this was and how it turned out. I thought it turned out so cute. So now my photo, I have a mat that I printed out from the same collection. And being that it's a little dimensional because of the crepe paper, I'm going to add a little bit of cardboard behind it or a little bit of um, chipboard. It's a, a leftover tag that I had from some Prima pearls. So I'm just going to cut that in half, adhere it down, and it's the perfect height for to, to allow my photo to not be at an angle. Here's some American Crafts glitter tape. I'm going to add just a border of that right under my photo just to give it a little bit of sparkle to the page. The photo is four by six and the mat is four and a half by six and a half. Here I have some Heidi Swap notes. It's her little tags, and it's from her um, collection of printable or, or mistable, excuse me, papers. So I'm using some, I believe it's mustard, and I'm spraying that to go along with the page. The love there is a cameo cutout along with this damask. I'm using some Scotch Quick Dry to adhere these down. And here's a bow that I used the exact same collection, so it all went well together. and I'll use a an, uh, handmade enamel dot. This butterfly is also from the Heidi Swap. It's the color mist. Um, you can color mist that as well, but 
I did not want to bring the yellow down in that corner as well. I thought it would be a little too heavy, so I just left it white. And then I will add a tiny enamel dot to the center of that butterfly as well in white. And I love how simple but yet girly this page turned out. I was really happy with it. So I simply added some double-sided tape, adhered it down to my page, and that was it. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment, and the links will be in the description box below. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and my blog spot all at Corrine's Creations. Thanks so much for watching.